He says that yesterday's massive sewage spill never should have happened. A city director pointing to a failure to communicate between two departments that led to the backup of its Ala Moana pump station. KIT Force Catherine Cruz continuing our team coverage. Catherine? Well, a day after the city's sewer system was overwhelmed by runoff, beaches from Waikiki to Point Panic remain closed. Warning signs remain posted at least until tomorrow, but the city dropped a bombshell admitting the magnitude of the spill might have been prevented. Apparently, a single device, a flap or a flange, wasn't in place, but should have been. City crews began taking water samples at the Ala Moana Canal, one of about two dozen sites around the spill area this morning. The bacterial counts will determine whether health officials will give the all clear and reopen the beaches that were shut down. But the head of the department responsible for our sewers took the blame for something she admits shouldn't have happened. That was purely our fault. The discharge of more than a half a million gallons of sewage into Kuala Basin and the Alawai Harbor apparently could have been avoided if a single part, a flange or a flap, had been installed in one of the sewer pipes it was being worked on. We knew the storm was coming, and my operator should have communicated to Design and Construction, hey, I need that pump station running because I can't handle all the excess rainwater that's coming in. We have a huge meeting tomorrow with the two department heads and the chiefs. So how can we improve communication because this never should have happened? The Department of Health says it's premature to talk about whether it may levy any fines against the city, but it will certainly take into account whether all this could have been avoided. Right now, at this point in time, we're just dealing with the emergency response. We'll deal with the, uh, the findings of fact and the investigation whether there's any enforcement issues to come later on. State crews are assisting in the water sampling, looking at pH and other physical properties, while the city tries to sort out how to prevent another spill, particularly since Mother Nature isn't letting up and the storms keep on coming. The pressure is on to manage the runoff. The challenges that we have are in areas like Waikiki, where the discharge point for the stormwater system is at sea level or pretty close to it. So depending on the, the tidal action, the height of the tide, that stormwater may or may not have a place to go to. Businesses like the Waikiki Yacht Club were left dealing with the after effects. I had a function scheduled today with the Better Business Bureau. They canceled out. Uh, the concern is parking, yeah, because the park is closed. The city hopes to reopen the beach park tomorrow. The beach area, however, will likely remain off limits until officials give the all clear. Now, the results from yesterday's sampling uh, were expected this afternoon, but the city won't release the info until tomorrow. The state regularly tests the waters at Ala Moana, so it has a baseline. We'll just have to see how high the bacterial counts are. Back to you.